Outside of the dental profession, very few people know what dental technology is. So, what is dental technology? The people who work in our field are referred to as dental technologists or dental technicians. Most of us have visited a dentist that had some type of dental work done. We all know the important role of the dentist, the certified dental assistant, and the dental hygienist. We are all very familiar with the front line of the dental team. Working hard in the background are members of the dental team that the public is often not aware of. Have you ever wondered who made your children's orthodontic appliances, your crowns and bridges, dental implant restorations, partial and complete dentures? How about the bleaching trays and sports mouth guards, and even your sleep apnea devices? There's a long list of dental appliances the dental technicians are responsible for fabricating. Dental technicians are artisans. Some work in smaller, one to five person specialized boutique laboratories, while others work in larger, full service commercial settings. Registered dental technicians are required to write a jurisprudence and theory exam, as well as pass a rigorous practical examination before they are qualified to register with the College of Dental Technicians of BC. All personnel working on your case in the dental laboratory must be registered with the College of Dental Technicians of BC. The list of registered dental technicians can be found at www.cdtbc.ca. Many of the registered dental technicians have graduated from the Dental Technology Science Program at Vancouver Community College. It's a two and a half year diploma program. A new curriculum that started January 2016 provides students of dental technology the necessary knowledge and skills to become the next generation of dental technicians. Are you in need of some dental work? Possibly some dental implants? Are you losing sleep over what to do? Technology and dental materials are changing so quickly in dentistry. Are implants safe? What is the best material? Will it last? Where can I find a qualified dentist? Too much information can be so confusing. The dental technician can help you narrow down those choices. After all, you're working with the materials every day. Make arrangements to visit the laboratory where your case will be fabricated. Feel free to ask lots of questions and take a good look around the laboratory. Are your concerns being addressed? Are they knowledgeable about the restorations? Take a quick look around. Is the laboratory clean? Is the laboratory well organized? These are all indications of a good laboratory. The technical updates that you would normally be looking for in the laboratory would depend on the type of restorations that you are needing. However, in today's modern laboratory, it's common to find 3D digital scanner, printers, and 3D milling machines. The laboratory should be technologically current. So when you're ready for your next dental project and you're deciding on the type of restoration, the type of materials, and which dentist to go to, don't forget the dental technician. They are highly skilled professionals and part of the dental team. And be sure to check out the dental laboratory. Now you know a little bit more about dental technology. Thank you for watching.
created using Powtoon.